Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, threats today, guys, because that's uh, one, of, one of the most common ways in which you lose a game, right? Uh, there are two ways in which you can lose a game. One of them is you blunder something, you make a very bad move and then your opponent uh, capitalizes on that and you lose the game. You, you've been doing a lot of those? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the second one is the second one, the second type of, of, of ways in which you can lose is when your opponent actually creates a threat, he's threatening something, and you fail to see it, right? You fail to see, you fail to defend against it, and then you're in big trouble. So we're going to be learning about a few ways in which we can um, defend against threats. And one of them is capturing the attacking piece, okay? So what is white threat? I think you already mentioned it. Yes. Rook to h8, bishop goes to f8, and then? Yes. The bishop, the bishop has to retreat to f8, and then the queen goes to d8, and that's a checkmate, right? Okay. So how can black defend against that? He, he has a few ways, but he has a very good way. Don't say it. Wait for me to ask, ask about you. You already said it. Now I'm going to give the opportunity to Arjun. Arjun, go ahead. Queen F2, absolutely. Uh, the queen goes to F2. How do we call this? Double attack. Fork, you can call it fork as well. Um, I prefer double attack. The rook, the, the king. Uh, so you're going to be losing. Okay. Okay, this was the first way you can defend against a threat. And that is by capturing our, your opponent's piece, your opponent's attacking piece. So, how about this one? What is black's threat? I think you kind of already know because of the arrow. Yes. Knight to e5, right? Knight to e5 because this pawn is pinned. pinned. That's how we call it, right? Okay. So how can we defend against that? Hmm? There are a few ways, to be honest. There is a few ways you can, you can defend against that threat. What do you guys think is the best one? Sure, you tell me. Rook to f5, very nice, very good, yeah. That's actually probably the best move in the position. Um, you're running, and that's the second method, run away with the attacked piece. With either of these two pieces, you could have run away. You could play king e2, that's another good move. Uh, but I think rook f5 is actually the best because it also attacks this pawn, right? So very good, so far so good. Pretty easy. What about this one? You tell me black threat, and then you tell me white's defense. Arjun, I know you know. I want new hands in the air. How about you? Not you, you. What do you see unusual in this position? There's a, there is a certain diagonal which is very stacked with pieces. How about this one? Yeah? So you see, you have one, two, three, four, five pieces on one diagonal. That's a lot of pieces, especially when there are two bishops on it pieces with diagonal uh, action. So what's black threat? Once again, sure. Uh, knight, to knight takes d5, absolutely. That is the threat. So let's try to find ways 
in which we can defend. We had capturing the attacking piece. That was the first method. We had running away with the attacked piece. So now we're going to have, to be honest, probably one of the most common ways in which you can defend a piece. Defend it. How are you going to do that? Rook to c1, interesting move. Though not a very good move because you're not defending your attacked piece. So now I'm going to be able to take the knight, take the pawn. You take back my knight. I take back the bishop. Pawn up, yeah? I have the advantage. Black has the advantage. So let's try to find... Now everybody knows. Nice. How about you? Very good. Rook to d1. Absolutely. This is the best defense. And to be honest, probably the only one. Um, well, actually, it's not the only one. And we will try to find the other, the, other, the other one as well. How about e4? Would e4 be a good move? Yes. Exactly. If you play e4, this is not the target anymore but the pawn on e4 becomes the target, yeah? So I'm just going to take on e4, you're going to take, I'm going to take on b2, and that's not game over, but you lost the pawn, right? Sure. Rook b1, very nice, exactly. You're defending the other attacked piece. Well, in the future, potentially attacked piece, yeah? The, the, the bishop on b2. Uh, this is what we call prophylaxis in chess but yeah rook d1 is probably the best because the rook is on on a file with much more squares available so a much better move rook d1 okay good job we did three ways in which we can defend against the threat so far let's get to the next ones all right the same the same scenario you're white you tell me black threat which is, to be honest, pretty obvious, but you do have more than one threat for black. Um, and then you tell me a way in which you can defend against it. Arjun, if... Okay, black's, black's threat is queen takes f1, absolutely. That's a checkmate. Um, okay. Let's try to let's try to find a way we can defend. Can we capture the opponent's attacking piece? No. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Give me just one second. So, can we run away? No. Why not? It will matter. Why can't we run away? Why can't we play, let's say, bishop to c4? Checkmate. Checkmate? Where? Uh -huh, never mind, I see. So, why can't you just run away? Take the piece out of harm's way. Why? Yes, you tell me. To f? Where? F1, I will just take the, the queen. So maybe something else. Think about it and give me the whole answer. I don't want you to tell me one move at a time. I want you to tell me the whole variation. Yes. It has three moves. The whole variation has three moves. Bishop takes f1, rook takes f1, and that's a checkmate, yeah? Very nice. So that's another threat that you guys cannot miss, um, because if you do, you get checkmated. So black forces the king in the corner, boxes him out in the corner, and then after queen f2, yes, we all see it now, absolutely. So running away with a piece, not a good idea. Um, can we defend the piece? Yes. 
How? You have a lot of ways of defending the piece, yeah? You can go with the queen on e2, you can go with the queen on e1, you can go with the rook on d1, you can go with the queen on d3, you can go with the queen on c4. There's quite a few ways. Actually, you can also go with the queen on b1, uh, if you want to be technical about it. So, a lot of moves. One, two, three, four, five, six moves, yeah. Yes, Arjun. No, I don't think any of those work. Mm, very interesting observation. Yes, why? Let's take them one at a time. Or queen one. Yes. <laughs> Again, the same problem. Queen f2 check first. King boxes in the corner. Queen takes f1. Queen takes f1. Rook takes f1. Checkmate. And the, same thing if you queen. the same thing happens if you put your queen on b1. What about if you put the queen to d3? The same thing, yeah? yeah? What about if you put the queen on e2? You hang the rook, yeah? And if, you the, if you go rook to d1, this is a little bit more, I, I would say, a little bit more difficult to, uh, to, to see, but the same problem, queen f2, king h1, queen takes f1, rook takes f1, game over, yeah? So none of those work. Now Arjun, you keep quiet. You told me everything I needed to know. And now somebody else tries to give me the correct answer. What is the only way to defend? Arjun, your hand down. I'm not going to take you. Unless somebody else, nobody else raises their hand. Yes. Rook to f5. That's an interesting idea. But unfortunately, if you put a rook to f5, I'm just going to take it. Mm, no, I'm going to take it with the queen because I have the advantage. And what do we do when we have the advantage? We try to trade as many pieces as possible, yeah? It's the fastest way to kind of uh, increase our advantage. So, yeah, taking with the queen, you just gave away the rook for no apparent reason. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> My bad, not you, Arjun. Uh, somebody else. You guys are on the right track. You have to interfere with his attack. This is the problem. So the fourth way of defending against the threat is using interference. Yes. Rook to d8, interesting. Uh, how, how is that? No, I'm not going to take with the rook. Thank you very much. I'm going to take your bishop checkmate. Be careful. Again, I said interference, and you play rook d8. That's not a good, not a good fit. Yes. You could, you can place your queen. Well, you can place your queen at f3. Very nice. That's well. That's pretty much the only place you can place your queen. Um, that's the only, that's the only square on this file, using interference that makes any sense. If you play queen f4, I'm just going to take it, right? Yeah. And she's not defended. Um, another another uh, interesting aspect about queen f3 is also that it keeps contact with the rook. So you're still defending the rook. You're, you have the advantage. You might as well try to exchange the queens, right? Queen takes f3, g takes f3. You got, you got rid of all his threats, and now you're completely winning. You're just going to take on a6. Game is over. Very nice. Okay. Let's get to the last one, to the last way in which we can defend against a threat. This one is a little bit trickier. You're white. What is black's threat? And by the way, black has a few threats. Make sure you tell me all of them when you're ready. You tell me one of them, Arjun. Don't tell me a move. Tell me what is black's threat. Knight a5. Yeah. You picked the difficult one. Smart. Uh, yes, knight a5 is one of, one, one of black's threats because 
after you play knight a5, the queen is actually trapped, right? And the second threat, which is much more obvious than knight, knight a5, anybody can tell me? Arjun, hands down. Down, down, hands down. I know you know it. Nope. Yes. Nope. I guess we have to ask Arjun. Arjun. E takes F3. Thank you. You just capture a piece. Isn't that a clear enough threat? You, tra you trade a pawn for a piece, for a knight. That's three points for one. It's not bad, right? You're winning something, so that's a threat. Okay, now that we found his threats, we have to find uh, the defense as well. What can we do? What are our options in this position? To defend against both threats. Again, one, one of them was taking the knight, that's the most obvious one. And the second one was to play knight a5, which, which traps the queen. So you have to find a, a way. There is only one way in which you can defend against both of them at the same time, in one move. Very good. What is the point of this move, knight g5? You're creating your own threat at the same time. How do we call this? When he's attacking us and we're attacking back, how do we call this? Counter-attacking, Counter yes. So those are the five ways in which you can defend against the threat. The first one was capturing. The second one was running away. The third one and probably most uh, the most obvious one is defending the piece, yeah? The fourth one, interference. Remember the interference one, the previous example? And the fifth and the last one, the most difficult one, the most rare one, uh, counterattacking. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Now you have weapons to defend against threats.